I'm so in the habit of not singing because I can never get the rights to anything. So we gotta make up our own songs. Don't have to license that. Hey Vogue, this is Dove Cameron and I am about to show you my go-to sophisticated makeup look. I think the most important part of your makeup look is always your skincare and how you prep. I have already washed my face, but I usually like to prep with a little toner. And this is just something to get my skin tone a little bit more even because girl, I'd be red today. Now that that's done, this is just a little serum and it has seriously changed my life. And I really put on a lot of it. This is like a little sculpty guy. It moves the muscles in your face. Look, watch, watch what my face does. <laughs> it helps to just sculpt your cheekbones and get rid of any puffiness. I put on an oil day and night. Heavier skincare is better at night, but I am the crazy girl that wears oil all day, every day. And it looks really, really good under makeup. And then if I have extra, I'll go in on my collarbones. People always tell me my collarbones are gleaming. Then I top it off with, it's a lighter weight moisturizer than I usually use, but pairing it with an oil, for some reason, the combination is so perfect, but it just sits so well under makeup. And then last but not least, a little bit of eye cream. I go back and forth on how important I think eye cream is. A lot of people say it's the most important thing, Equal amounts of people say that it's just like expensive moisturizer for under your eyes, but I am an excessive girl. Any little extra stuff that I can add to my skincare, I'm always like, sign me up. The back of your knuckle can do a really good job at depuffing your eyes here and here. And then last but not least, I'll let a little bit of lip balm sit on my lips. A lot of this is my kind of daily routine, but I'm gonna bump it up a little bit for you guys. I didn't put on any sunscreen in my skincare and that is because I have sunscreen in my foundation. I guess you would call this foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 50 plus. This is super easy, especially like if I'm getting ready for an audition in the car, which is a lot of my life. Instead of using two different kinds of concealer, I actually use a shadow primer. It just creates like a really good base for your concealer to grab onto, especially with all the oil that we have. I do let that kind of sit for a second. It kind of takes a minute to get tacky. I use a dry beauty blender. I don't want it to be as dewy, especially because I use so much oil. I'm not really specific about the placement of my concealer, just any spot that there might be redness. I have a little scar here from when my Cocker Spaniel, when I was like five years old, bit my cheek. It wasn't her fault. I tried to take her bone and I didn't understand it. It would mean I would be covering a scar for the rest of my life. <laughs> and then I will go in after that with a actual concealer. And I feel like it's really nice for like highlighting. And then if you just blend it out, it just gives you the little bit of coverage that the lack of foundation doesn't give you. Next, I put on my powder. Right now I'm using this loose powder that has the tiniest little pink tint to it. My makeup artist that I work with uses this under my eyes, but today we're using this everywhere. This is my new favorite weird thing but it's just a little powder specifically for your under eye. I don't really know if it really does anything, I just think it's super cute. Okay, let's start on brows. So I go in with like a little colored brow gel, but I wipe it down first, because otherwise, very pigmented. So, we're gonna move on from brows for now, and we're gonna move into eyes. And for this look, I really want kind of wispy, but definitely defined lash. I'm going to use my favorite shadow as a base. I do not have an exact science for this. 
Just something that brings a little bit of definition to the edges. Like one little swipe across the actual lid. I'm gonna go in with another kind of a taupey color. This one is slightly warmer. And I'm gonna go back right where I was, just a little bit darker and warmer. And then I'm gonna go up very lightly to my brow bone. I love to add a little bit of inner corner highlight. Just something that brings out the inner corner of the eye, really brightens the face. Now for a day look, I only ever use short individual lashes just because I'm not trying to really add length. I just wanna add a little, just on the outside, just to give it that little extra pop. While my lashes are drying, I'm gonna go back in on my brows and just define the edges a little bit with this little styler pencil. Now the final step. So I'll go in with a lip liner that is like exactly my lip color, just around the edges, like really lightly. And it's okay if it's a little bit messy because we are now gonna go in with our final, final step, which is my favorite part, tinted lip balm in the color Raisin. I'm gonna go in with your fingers. It's kind of purpley. It's gonna mix really well with your brown shadow. Always go from your lips first, then to your cheeks if you're using the same product because you will likely get whatever product is on your cheek, on your lip, and it'll mess up your whole color. We don't want that. We're gonna put it on our cheeks. There's no shame in going with a little Q-tip after. I got this as a stocking stuffer from my mom this year, so shout out to you, Bonnie. You are the best. I go in with the same color on my cheeks and my lips, just on the tip of my nose. To tie it all together. That is usually where I would stop. But this is a very special episode because I have a zit right here that no matter what will not let me cover it. So in 0.2 seconds, you can take a zit to a beauty mark. Because you know what? Life is all about dress up and every day is the occasion. And that's my full completed earthy tones look.